Oh, I was happy that Spider-Man went to Japan. And in fact, it gave me an excuse to go to Japan. And I met with the people at Toei and um, we had a wonderful time. Well, I tried to explain all of the things about Spider-Man that I felt were important and would make people like the, the television series. And they told me how they um, expected to do the show and we had a very a very good meeting well to me a hero is somebody who does something to help other people even if it might be dangerous but he tries to do the right thing and he tries to help people and you don't have to have a superpower to be a hero, but it helps. Or oh, I, I am terrible at remembering dates, but as soon as it was filmed years ago, they sent me um, a, a videotape of it, and I enjoyed it very much. Well, I liked the way they did it in a Japanese style. It wasn't really like the American version. It had its own flavor. And even the way he walked, they gave Spider-Man a certain type of walk when he walked or ran, um, which was different than the way he did it in the American uh, cartoons. But it was very interesting. And the characters that they had, that they created, which were different than our own characters were very colorful and very interesting. I was very impressed with the action because none of them were done by computer graphics, but whatever you saw on the screen was really being done by human beings. And when Spider-Man was climbing that building, I thought it was wonderful the way they had him going up the wall. I loved the acrobatics when they would spit, the people would spin around, and when Spider-Man would make the villains spin around. And I liked the director's style, where he would show the scene again and again and again, and you got the feeling of a lot of fast motion. It, it was very good, I enjoyed it. And it was so different than the way we do them in the United States that it was fun because I was looking at a totally different style and a good style. Well, there was one live action television series and um, it wasn't nearly as fanciful. It was more realistic. But the only thing that was similar to the Japanese version when Spider-Man climbed the building, they also used ropes and they had somebody on the roof holding the ropes and they photographed it so that the ropes wouldn't show. So that was the only thing that the American version had in common with the Japanese version. They both didn't use computer graphics for climbing the wall. It was beautiful. I mean, I imagine that <clears throat> It would have been a wonderful toy. I'm sure that there were a lot of robot toys that were sold. I liked the way that he flew like a rocket, but then he could change into a humanish form. And I liked the way he threw his sword and it would always hit the villain who would disintegrate. Oh, he was very colorful. I didn't understand one thing. Spider-Man would be in trouble. Somebody would be threatening him and he would summon the robot. And then you would see the robot flying and something that looked like a little rocket ship going into the robot. And then you would see Spider-Man inside the robot. But I never understood what that rocket ship was that went inside the robot. I never understood where it came from. That's the, uh, the Spider-Man's car named GP7. So he calls the car with his um, bracelet mm -hmm. and then the car comes 
And oh, that was the car the that car went into flying. It happened so fast, mm -hmm. I didn't recognize the car. Oh, now I understand. Thank you for explaining it. And the Spider Man's in it. I see. Oh, so, that's great. That's great. So he lands on the plane, which transforms to the robot. Right, I understand. Mm -hmm. I watched the first one, I watched the last one, and I watched one or two in between. I remember that, and the costume dropped down and covered him, and then he became... But that was very good, I remember. I did see that. And I liked, I liked very much the way he began to walk and look like a spider. You know, the way he'd go like that. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, the action was wonderful. I, I loved the way... And again, it wasn't trick photography. Whatever you saw happening was really happening. And I liked the way Spider-Man jumped and turned around and the way there'd be six or eight villains attacking him and he would duck under them and jump over them and knock them. It was, it was great. It was beautifully done, really. I think it would be great. I would love to see it. In fact, when I was over there, I don't remember, there was a man named Mr. Watanabe, who at that time was one of the heads of Toei. And we discussed the fact that perhaps one day they would make another series and I would write it for them so it would be a combination of the Japanese style and the American style together. I guess we both got busy because we never did it but we had that idea many years ago. I think that it's very wonderful that you're going to have a chance to see DVDs of these great old Spider-Man movies because I know I loved them years ago when I first saw them and I can't wait to get one of those DVDs myself because I know how enjoyable it'll be to watch them again after all these years. And I just looked at a few of them recently and they hold up. They seem to be as good now as they were years ago, which is a great testimony to how well they were made. <laughs> Spider-Man! 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 <laughs> My son, <laughs> how are you? You look very good. That's a great costume. Wow, it's great. Look at that. Now, you ought to go like that, too. Oh, that's great. Now, wait, wait. Here we go. Can you, can you see through that? <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much. It's great. <laughs> Spider-Man. Did you notice we have a Spider-Man figure in my... Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. He brought it in. When you were young, and then have a chance to see it again when you're older, I think that they will just love these DVDs. Okay. Great! Hey, that looks wonderful. That's terrific. Go out and scare everybody. Oh, yeah, oh.